Another day, another podcast here. It's Blue, Blue Haze Dreamers. So we're going to talk about where we think or where free agents uh, might go this uh, upcoming offseason. So, Rhea, do you want to get us started with the first free agent uh, yeah. on the list? I'm going to start off with Kevin Durant. Okay, okay. There's a stigma that he's unhappy anywhere, including where he's at right now. Uh, there's a lot of locker room talks that he's going to leave. Draymond said, it don't matter where he goes, but uh, while he's here, we're going to win. So that kind of sounds like he may just dip out. Um, there is speculation about him going with LeBron. He's not going to do that. He wants to be better than LeBron. If he goes to LA, they're going to start winning the same amount of chips. Durant wants to pass him in chips. Um, New York is uh, exciting, but I that wouldn't be my first pick. I would like to see him go to Brooklyn. They were a really exciting I wanted, team. I <clears throat> wonder if you're going to bring that up. That's, they were a really exciting uh, a move. team. Uh, they won a game against the Sixers, and that one game had me thinking they could have had the series. Just from that game. It was crazy. I, I Honestly, I wanted the Nets to win that series. Low yeah. key. Really did. They're exciting. At least, at least take them to six. They're but, young. Uh, they're pretty good at three point shooting. And right now, they just have two uh, pretty much defensive minded small forwards. I think they have Damari Carroll and Rondé Hollis Jefferson. So, Durant going to that team, I think, would just be Move a one really of them. good fit. Yeah. Get rid of some cap space. Yeah, and he go to the East. Um, I know that's changed now, but um, it'd just be a good sighting to see him get out of the West because he's been in the West his whole career. So, yeah, I would like to see him go to Brooklyn. Follow-up question. Yes. Brooklyn with Durant in a seven-game series against Milwaukee. Who you got? Well, I think that's going to depend on, like, what else they do this offseason. Because if you attract they, Kevin Durant, who else are you going to attract? If they just get What are you going to do, you know? That lineup's just going to get it to the like, Bucks. I don't know. But, I mean, there's a, there's a bunch more names, so we'll see what happens. But I really like that team. D'Lo is uh, really good. Young. Uh, I said my veins. Star. Love D'Lo. He's amazing. Shout out, D'Lo. Uh, a sleeper that everyone forgot about. Karis LeVert was playing like an all-star before he got injured. Absolutely. And as soon as he came back, he started playing like an all-star, too. But so, Dinwiddie's out there. Yeah, and, and Dinwiddie's they've, off the bench. They've got the point guards and shooting guards. Don't get me wrong. They just need to... Yeah. So you know. I would like Durant to go to Brooklyn. I know a lot of people are saying Kyrie, but I think they're good on that point guard spot. I think they should need. They, I think they need to get KD. That'd be amazing. I agree with that. Actually, I agree with that point. I mean, I was wondering if you're going to bring that up, actually, but I think that's a great move to put Dilo with them. Like you said, the point guard, shooting guard. You know, that's that's put in place. Put Kevin Durant on there. You know, I don't know who else you can you're going to attract. The four. Yeah, absolutely. Put like, Damari Carroll or Rondé at the three, and put KD at the four. Yeah. I mean, hey, maybe Jay-Z write an album. I don't know. All right, Zach, what do you think uh, about Kevin Durant or another free agent? I like Brooklyn for KD, but that's only if Kyrie doesn't go to Brooklyn because they're both ball dominant. And hell, D-Loading likes to have the ball in his hands. So, Karis LeVert likes to have the ball in his hands. Yeah. And, like, KD, he, I feel like... He could still be effective without the ball, but that's obviously not good. his game. Yeah, so he definitely should not go wherever Kyrie goes. That's well, the first thing. well, you gotta think that's what everyone said when KD joined the Warriors. You're gonna get like <laughs> what's gonna happen to Curry, what's gonna happen to Clay. You know, they were shooters and stuff like that. But right, but Curry is a different type of player. It's a Curry's that's like, true. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna let you have your your influence right here. That's Kyrie true. is like, hey man. Don't get in my spotlight too much. Yeah, like if like if if Steph sees somebody's getting hot, he's, he's like, I'm getting get, the ball. Get them the ball. Yeah. That's a smart play. If you know, like if Melo sees somebody get hot or Kyrie sees get somebody get like that type of player sees somebody get hot, then they're like, all right, give me the ball. And not to knock on Kyrie, we just don't think they fit. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Because a lot of people think maybe KD should go to New York. Hey, Brooke and Michael. <laughs> a lot of people think KD should go to the Knicks with Kyrie. I think that'd be a huge mistake. Oh, absolutely. Okay, maybe not New York, but they definitely together, like the two of them together would not fit in Brooklyn. Right. So, yeah, I think the best move for KD would be Brooklyn. 
but maybe not as big of a name, but somebody who I really want on my personal favorite team, which I actually think we have a chance of getting. Where do you guys like to see a good spot for Jimmy Butler? Jimmy Butler? I think he needs to be moved, honestly. So, I don't know where he wants to go exactly. Does he want to be bold, Donovan? Come to Naptown, Jimmy Buckets. So, Jimmy, we need Jenna. We need you. Get rid of Tyreek Evans. Get rid of a few people. Bro. That would be deathly. That would be deathly. Vic let, and Jimmy? You could let Vic do the playmaking and the ball handling. They're both defensive fucking like geniuses. Vic and Jimmy. They're like... Dude, that would be a nasty backcourt. So Zach, would you would you rather have Collison, Oladipo, Jimmy, or would you rather have like Jimmy or Oladipo, and then Jimmy or Oladipo and Bo uh, Bo 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 yes. Bo yes. Yeah. Uh, I like Collison, but I was thinking to have him come off the come him come off the bench. Him and Tyreek have Collison and Tyreek come off the bench because they're both great playmakers. Start Oladipo and Jimmy. I mean, actually, I think Boban's gonna be a free agent. To be honest, I hope he stays. So he can. I yeah. hope he stays. Well, that he might be weird though. Like with, yeah, that lineup might be odd if you play. That's all I was thinking. I was thinking the lineup may be a little weird. You put Boban at three. What you put that Yawning at four? No, I think maybe you're right. You put Jimmy at three. Victor at two. Yeah, I think that's a, at one. Yeah, I think that's a realistic. And then you got Miles and. Or Sabonis. Yeah, they got Sabonis. Sabonis such a great, he's such Sabonis a great player off the bench, though. I love him off the bench. Yeah, I think they ended up losing that easy. Could, he, could Sabonis turn into a starter next year? Dude, Sabonis absolutely, is absolutely. Last year, bro. Sabonis is slept on. He's so, like, crafty with it. And oh, absolutely. Him and, him and uh, Oladipo run that pick and roll perfectly. Like, they, go, that, they go to it. Uh, like, Kyrie and Horford, the, the chemistry they had like, on a pick and pop. The way they would just, anytime they want to score off it, pick a pop. Like, when it's a late game and you need a bucket, they would run that action where they have uh, Sabonis on the on the block and Oladipo would be, like, at the top of the key or, like, close to the elbow. And then he would cut up. Uh, Sabonis would, like, get a screen down low. He would cut up. Sabonis can shoot, so he could either pop or he could roll. And then you got Oladipo. He could shoot and he could drive. So... Yeah, Sabonis. I forget who mentioned Sabonis, but yeah, Sabonis is the real deal. All right, that was a pretty good take. Um, I think this one's going to shock you guys and maybe you guys. Um, I would love to see Jimmy go to the Mavericks with Doncic and Porzingis. Yo, I didn't even think People wow. forgot that Porzingis Holy went to the Mavericks. Cow. If they got one more person, they added Jimmy. Oh that's going to be an exciting, God. exciting team. Hell, they could add Durant. I was just saying, I don't think Durant will go there, but I think Jimmy, he's looking for a home. I don't think he, I don't know. I just think that'd be a really cool place. He brings defense, and uh, he is ball dominant, but not terrible. Okay. Um, if you so think, think that'd be cool. So you think Jimmy should go maybe to the Mavs? To the Mavs. I got my fingers crossed. That's a great idea. They just idea. lost West Ma or they didn't lose him, but he's on the Pacers now, so they got a yeah, wide absolutely. open spot at shooting guard. Okay, I mean, I don't know if, like, this won't shock you, whatever, but Tobias Harris, man, he's a free agent as well. Yeah, he is. Um, I think that he would probably be a better fit than Jimmy Butler on the Pacers. On the Pacers? I think he'd be a better fit, or he could go to the Mavs. Like, he could go anywhere, I mean, obviously, because he's a free agent, but I think on the Pacers, he'd work a lot better than Jimmy Butler. So, like, I would have to dis disagree with you on that, Zach, because, like, I know Jimmy Butler's, you know, a ball dominant, he brings a lot of defense, but... I wouldn't say he's I think he'd, he'd cause too many problems in the locker room. Jimmy? I think he really would. Dude, I, I think Jimmy would cause too many problems. Bro, I honestly disagree because him and Vic are both like workhorses. They're both. I mean, they are. I mean, that's true. Talent. That's true. I just. I agree with Zach on that. I think Jimmy mm -hmm. hates slacker teammates, not just teammates. Yeah. And well, I think yeah, the yeah, Wolves were young. You can tell by Cat and Wiggins, they that defensive stuff. That's just like a little look into their that's work true. ethic almost. That's true. That they don't improve that defense. And Zach is right. Oladipo is a workhorse. Miles is also a workhorse. Remember how he, oh, he got really beefed. fucking beefed up over the summer. Honestly, so, though. Jimmy would love that. Honestly. But he is a little bummed. I mean, that's I true. But, like, that. really yeah. where I think Tobias Harris could go is LA Lakers. He's a great That'd fucking shooter. He's a great shooter. And LeBron needs shooters. That's, that's how LeBron plays. 
Jimmy Butler, <laughs> or not Jimmy Butler, but Tobias Harris, you know, yeah. he was averaging great numbers on the Clippers. Great numbers for they trading him away. And, like, you know, it just, I mean, might as well, why not? I mean, hell, where's Kawhi going to go? And depending on how far they go, is, is he going to stay on the Raptors? Obviously, Kawhi's not going to go with LeBron or, like, probably to the West. He'd probably stay in the East. But, like, I don't know. I think Kawhi would probably stay. Yeah, I think Kawhi would, Kawhi would stay or I could see or that, though. Town. Um, but I think I'm leaning more to I'm leaning more to he stays. I mean, I, I hope. I know was. L.A. was something he was talking about yeah. last time when he was in San Antonio. That's true. He was talking about L.A. a lot. Um, it'd be interesting if him and KD went to the Clippers. I think the Warriors and Clippers have beef, so maybe KD wouldn't go to the Clippers. They have Pat Bev. Um, you know, they don't get along. Uh, but yeah. Why? I don't think there's much on that. I think he'll either stay or go to the Clippers. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. Any other free agents leaving? Or maybe going somewhere? I know Tyreek Evans. I believe oh, he is a free agent. We talked about Kevin Durant first, and we mentioned Kyrie. We didn't really talk about Kyrie. Oh, yeah, that's true. Okay. I know all the New York talks. I would personally like to see Kyrie go to the Lakers because I'm a LeBron fan. Okay. I, th- I would. Bold, I would bold statement them. out there. Bold statement. Put that out there. I would love them okay. to team up again. I thought that they were really enjoyable to watch uh, as teammates the first time. Um, That's true. That's true. So I think I think Kyrie to the Los Angeles Lakers would be a good good fit, and they could try to. Move you really up. think he wants to play with LeBron again, or do you think he's just saying that? I don't think he wants to. I think he's like, oh crap, I need LeBron. I think. I think honestly, like. He did kind of, like, try and prove himself, like, on the Celtics, and, like, it didn't work out as, like, a leader, and supposedly, you know, he called LeBron or whatever and, like, did this and that, and I think that's why Madison Square Garden, or New York, is not a good place for him, because, okay, yeah, he can be, he can be the ball dominant, he can put up 30 if he wants, we know he's that good, but he's not going to win a ring, like, he was on the Celtics, like, that was probably his best, like, I, I liked that he went to Celtics. You know, it was a good free agent move. You know, you I got. That they were going to be very good. I, I really did. And I think him just being on the. Being on New York, I just. I don't see that working out too well. I don't. I don't see him on the Nets. You know, we kind of discussed that a little bit. But honestly, like. I would rather see him on the Lakers and play with LeBron because, like, he knows that, like, he needs other players to win. He knows he can't win by himself, and I think he's really, truly learning that. So I think if he does go back to L.A. or if, like, you know, if he signed or whatever, I think he'd be on, like, a two-year deal and a third year being an option. I can yeah. see that for him. I think that Kyrie is a little bit of a blamer, to be honest. Um, I think that he, he tried to point the finger at LeBron a lot, and that was because LeBron was the man, and you can point the finger at the man always. And in the in uh, in Boston, he's the man. So the fact that they lost, everyone's pointing their finger at him, and I don't think he likes it. So not. that's just my kind of take. I almost think he's, I think he's. The world's flat. Yeah. I think he's a uh, number two on a championship team. I think he can be a great number one on a, you know, on a, on a great team. But this this league is so just it's so talented. You you can't win it by yourself. So it's not gonna happen. Michael couldn't do it. I Kobe like couldn't do it. Really. So. We're, we're still seeing that trend today in um, the NBA. Boogie is actually a free agent. He's coming off a quad injury. And so. a one-year deal and all this stuff. Uh, so to see, where where do you – that's a good question. I didn't even think about where putting him. Like, If Durant leaves, I kind of see Cousins staying. They'd probably give him a lower contract because of all this injury, and he'd probably understand because of this stuff. Uh – I kind of see him staying if Durant leaves. I really don't know where he would go if he did leave. I could see him going to the East and going to the Celtics. The Celtics. I could see that. I could see that. Al Holford. You know, Al Holford's still doing good. Uh, you know, don't get me wrong. He's uh, he showed that he can lock down Giannis. I mean, obviously the Celtics lost, but he can you know play great defense still. But I think yeah, Boogie's a little older, but like you need that. I think that, that force Danny in there. is a little careful to get Boogie. I think he's too careful to get Boogie. Uh, yeah, I mean that's true. And, and I don't know. I think he may be a little too smart just to get just to get to get Boogie. That's true. I mean, if Kyrie leaves, you know, who are you gonna run the offense through, then through then? Jason Tatum or Gordon Hayward? They're just stuck with Gordon Hayward. I think that's their. I don't know. I almost think that's their issue. I mean, I think he needs to take. He's on like a the next step in his contract, game. and he's playing like Kyle Lowry. <coughs> he's playing like. Yeah, he's not. Yeah, he's not playing too hard. No, so, so I mean, 
If Kyrie stayed and Hayward left, I think that wouldn't be a bad thing. But I don't think Hayward's leaving. What if Kyrie went to Dallas? Oh, I just I don't. That would be. I couldn't see cool. that. That me personally, I. Lucas coming up, you know. I feel like you know he's ball dominant. Porzingis is not. Too, he's not too much ball dominant, but. No, I don't think Luca. I think Luca plays better off the ball. You think so? Because okay. Luca is his separation is is yeah. good, but it's not great. That's true. I don't so know. I think Dallas would be cool for Kyrie. I think Dallas would be a cool place for a lot of teams because they forgot, or for a lot of players because they forgot that Porzingis is on there. That is true. That is injured. true. So, all right, guys. Well, that's the end of this video, and we'll come at you again with another one soon.